In this video, we're going to look at hacks the Home Assistant Community Store. We'll be looking at installing it and some of the prerequisites you need. In my previous video, I installed Home Assistant on a Raspberry Pi, so this is a follow-up video on that. Hacks gives you a very powerful UI that's going to enable you to leverage all of these custom components that other developers have built and bring them into your Home Assistant. Let's get started. Before you install Hacks, you're going to need a few things a GitHub account, a version of Home Assistant uh, greater than 110, access to your configuration file which you can achieve via a Samba or a SSH connection. Step 1, download the latest hacks release. So click on this download file, this will bring you to the GitHub repository, scroll down and, have a, and look for the hacks zip file, click on it and that would automatically trigger a download on your PC. Now connect to your Home Assistant using the Samba connection. Go to that file you downloaded, unzip it, and just double check the file contents. It should look something like this. Go to your Home Assistant shared folder and create a new folder called Custom Components. Remember the underscore between Custom and Components. Open a folder. Now copy the hacks folder into the custom components folder. Once this is done, you'll need to reboot Home Assistant. Go to configuration, scroll down to server controls and restart Home Assistant. OK. Now we need to log into GitHub and create a personal access token. This token is going to be unique to you and you need to create it by logging into your account. If you don't have an account, it's free to set one up. It's very simple to do. You just need a username and an email. Right, so let's click on the token link. And I've got various tokens already created. It doesn't matter, you can create a new one. So click on generate new token and add the name. It could be anything, it could be hacks. I'm going to do hacks free. And there's no need to tick any of these options. Just go down and click generate token. And I remember this token and copy this somewhere safe because it's the only time you'll be able to see it, as mentioned here. And now we can add in the hacks integration. So go to configuration, integrations, and you've got a plus sign here. Type in hacks. Oops, hacks. Okay, got it. Now we need to go and get that token that we previously generated from GitHub. We go and paste it, copy and paste it in. Now I'll be changing this token later on. And, and finish. If we click on options, we can set a few things. We can set up the name in the side panel, which is this one here. We can set up an icon, the number of releases to show, got any more options here to set and if you were to change something just click submit. You're going to need to wait at this stage. Hacks is waiting for Home Assistant to finish starting up. This should take just a couple of minutes. I had to get myself a cup of coffee because it took a little bit longer than expected but here we are now and we can add something into the front end. So I'm going to show you how you can add a mini uh, media player as an example. So click on front end and there's again that plus button and here you've got some I think the might there must be like the most popular based on the star rating of things that you can add in so let's have a look at for example the mini media player so this is going to give you a preview of the beautiful actually really beautiful media player some of the features which you can go and read and some of the different types of uh, ways you can you know, make it look and just click here install this repository in hacks I think you can pick a version I'll just go to pick the latest and I'm going to go and install it it's actually cool you can also use beta versions okay so we can reload you need to clear your browser cache I'm doing that now, yes, reload. Okay, so now we can see the mini media player has been installed. 
Let's try and install another one. So again, plus button. Let's have a look at this mini graph card. So I'm actually going to try and click on this repository and see if I can see the source code. Ah, okay. So now we've got some examples. Let me just expand this so you can see it's better. So we've got some examples of what we can use. We can have some sort of uh, packet per second in the server. We can have a graph of temperature. Uh, this is energy consumption. And here you've got some of the, you have your the installation guide, all of your options. So this is very, very interesting. You probably need to explore them one by one and get your head around them, sort of how to use them. Okay, so scroll down here and you've got an example of a piece of code that you can add in. So let's try and add this in with one of our temperature sensors. So copy the code. And go back into Home Assistant, go back to Overview, let's go to our ground floor, plus, scroll down, and we're going to go Manual, and we're going to paste this in. Now this sensor.humidity is not, probably not going to exist in my setup, so I need to find out what is the entity ID for this sensor, and I'm going to find that out now. So I went to developer tools and I'm filtering for my temperature sensor and I've got my ID here, my entity ID. So I just need to copy this, go back to the overview, go back to the ground floor, edit this card and replace this sample sensor with the sensor, save it. Okay, so I need to indent this properly and there you go. We've got some sort of example here. So I've added a name now and I'm going to click close and there you have it you have a new UI that you can use and there's so many other things you can explore and I'm probably going to do another video where I'm going to go through my top five favorite hacks plugins so stay tuned for that one subscribe to the channel and stay safe.